Have I been arrested based purely on the allegations of some drunken scumbag drugs peddler? No, Frank. We've got a statement from a reliable witness. Who? You know I can't tell you that. Scumbag drugs peddler. I take it you don't have a very high opinion of them. I spent the best part of my policing career dealing with thugs like Kelly. They're not worth a light. I couldn't agree with you more. Oh, I know what you're getting at. I may have a particular loathing for the drugs fraternity, but not enough to go down for trying to kill one of them. I'm not a violent man. For the benefit of the tape, I'm now showing Mr. Collins exhibit SL1, 300 pounds in cash taken from his uniform prior to his arrest. Usually carry that amount of money about at work. We haven't got all day. It's to pay for a trip to Paris for me and my wife, Pam. It's our silver wedding anniversary next month. We've been planning it for ages. Well, we always said we'd love to go back to Paris. We spend our honeymoon there, you see. Very nice. How long were you in the job, Frank? Fifteen years. It must have been something dramatic to have made you give up a good career. I wasn't sacked for using my fists, if that's what you're getting at. I left four years ago after my wife Pam had a nervous breakdown. I chose to leave so that I could take care of her properly. Very honourable of you. Things must have been pretty tough then, financially, I mean. You can say that again. Fifteen years' service and I didn't get a penny. Times are hard for a lot of people, Mr Collins. Hard enough for some people to go to extreme lengths in order to acquire a little extra cash. Especially if you're used to a certain kind of lifestyle. What are you getting at? Your trip to Paris. A little extravagant for someone who claims to be skint, isn't it? I saved that money. Stop mucking us about. You nicked that money from Kelly, didn't you? You knocked him out and you couldn't believe your luck when you found he had a couple of bobble Isn't that right? I don't know who your so-called reliable witness is, but these accusations are a joke. I saved that money to pay for the trip. I didn't touch Kelly. Your witness is lying. I've been set up. Who by? Well, you're the detective, Tosh. You tell me.